he's obviously absolutely thrilled with the win. It's not easy to win at Celtic Park. I, I thought, you know, Stevie, um, I thought the the handshake was slightly wrong. Um, I thought he just slapped Neil's hand and he slapped John Kennedy's hand and sort of walked away. Uh, I thought Stevie would have shook the hands Man to man, looked him in the eye, shook hands, shook hands. But he didn't. It was almost like a high five, a slap, and walked away. But listen, I'm not. I'm, it's not a criticism. It's just the way. Um, he was obviously delighted to have got the three points. He felt his team played very well, and um, that was the only thing I was a little surprised about that he didn't shake the guy's hand. I've not seen that sort of excitement and facing the camera and. But obviously, it means an awful lot to him. Stevie's one of my heroes. Listen, mm. I supported Liverpool as a kid. You know, I grew up watching the great Liverpool players. He's arguably alongside Ken Douglas and, and all these other greats that Rush is. You know, he's a wonderful player. And, and I looked up to Stevie when he was at Liverpool. But at the end of the day, um, he's a great passion as a player. But since he's been at Rangers, in all fairness, he's not had a lot to shout about. He's not had an awful lot to get passionate about. But yesterday, I can understand um, him, him showing that passion. But I still feel... If you look at the celebrations, he sort of slapped Neil's hands. Slapped, I thought he would have shook their hands properly and then was celebrated. That was the only thing that I was slightly um, not, not concerned about. That surprised me a little.